snowing! Yes! I'm oh, sorry, I turn into a little bit of a kid when the snow comes. I think partly because I never got enough snow when I was younger. Just set uh, a little conundrum for me though, because if it keeps up like this, I may not be able to get into London for the gig tonight. Which is very disappointing, and obviously I want to honour my commitment, but if I can't get there, I can't get there. But it's the Manchester Derby at four o'clock, and I'd really like to watch it. But of course, if City beat United, then I'd rather be at the gig. Anyway, today is day 10 on our saxophone advent calendar, and we're dealing with another guy who's still with us. We're dealing with tenor player George Coleman. Now, George Coleman might not be a name that you know that well, unless you're a real jazz head, but George Coleman has played with some pretty serious musicians. I'll just read out some of them as I go now. Okay, he's played with Ray Charles, B.B. King, Gene Ammons, Johnny Griffin, Max Roach. He was in Miles Davis's Quinter after Coltrane. George Coleman was sadly replaced by Wayne Shorter, but George Coleman is on that Seven Steps to Heaven recording. He's also recorded with so many other people, the Chet Baker. I could just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Check out the playlist. He is a fantastic tenor player. I really got into George Coleman via Eric Alexander, who's one of my teachers, because Eric Alexander, I think it's safe to say, worships at the altar of George Coleman. He really, really, really bites a lot off George Coleman, which is fine. I mean, George Coleman is a fine, fine player. There are some amazing recordings on uh, this playlist. I mean, I love that version of Have You Met Miss Jones from the, the one in Amsterdam. There's just uh, so much rich stuff that I really, especially if you're a tenor saxophone player, you need to listen to George Coleman at some point and go through it. George Coleman was born in March 1935 in Memphis, Tennessee. His classmates were Harold Mayburn, Booker Light, and Charles Lloyd. Now, an interesting story about Snow and Harold Mayburn. Back in 2013, I think it was, uh, Hal Mayburn was over playing with Vincent Herrick and Eric Alexander and they were playing at the Peterborough Jazz Club which is Peter's about 20 miles north of where I am now but it's a bit closer to where I used to live and I went I think I'd come by Leicester from an afternoon gig I've been doing and it was really heavy snow like today really really bad snow and the gig it was death there wasn't many people there but Harold Mayburn and Eric were there Vincent Sadly, they put Harold Mayburn, one of the great jazz piano players, a guy who was kind of just played with Lee Morgan, hung around with Coltrane, obviously George Coleman, all those kind of guys. He was on a Yamaha clavin over. I felt duty bound to have to go over and apologise to Harold Mayburn, even though I'd paid for a ticket that, you know, it was so sad that I was, he was having to play Yamaha clavin over. He was very, very generous about it, very, very very good so anyway check out the George Coleman playlist and we'll find out what happens with my day because I genuinely have no plan about how today's going to span out because we're so governed by what the snow is going to do yeah. go into the forest <laughs> try to get mummy no, he says he's not going to. We already talked about it before we started. Got you! I love the snow. I don't know it's, like I said, I don't know if it's enough of it as a child. I know some of you around the world will be getting snow every winter, but this is the first snow we've had for, since Charlie was a tiny baby. So uh, it's really exciting to be able to do it as a family.
has been one epic day. It started at about quarter to six this morning, it's now midnight, and I'm starting the vlog off. It took us nearly three hours to get into London today. The road I normally take in was not, it's closed, Waze told me to go a different way. The way Waze told me to go, and I, I doubted Waze, and I wish I hadn't, because we got stuck near an accident for 45 minutes uh, in North London. And then something, um, the snow, had, some snow had hit the bottom of my car and damaged the car, so I had to get the brake on service out to fix the bottom of the car. <sighs> and we arrived at the gig with three minutes to spare. So it was a pretty, pretty crazy day. So I hope I managed to get it into a vlog of some kind. Please make sure you check out yesterday's vlog. This was what I was doing last year. Hit the subscribe button and share those George Coleman playlists and enjoy his great music. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.